This lesson covers the chi-square test of independence using data from Divivia 2014. Row percentages have been added to the contingency table. 47% of single divorce veterans and 27% of married veterans have never been treated for PTSD. We would like to test the hypothesis that marital status is related to therapy completion against a null hypothesis that these two variables are unrelated. This table has two rows and three columns, which leads to a degrees of freedom of two. Using a table of chi-square values, we see that the chi-square critical value with two degrees of freedom and an alpha level of 0 0.05 is 5.99. The first step in conducting the chi-square test of independence is to compute expected cell frequencies. Expected cell frequencies are obtained by multiplying the row margin by the column margin and dividing by the total sample size. For example, the expected cell frequency of 48.9290 is obtained by multiplying 121 by 74 and dividing by 183. Once you have the expected cell frequencies, it is relatively easy to compute the chi-square test. Our observed chi-square value is 8.88. This value is larger than our chi-square critical value of 5.99. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that marital status is related to treatment completion. Now that we, we have rejected the null hypothesis, we need to do additional work to figure out where in the contingency table the cells depart from the assumption of independence. We will use a confidence interval for the difference of two proportions as our follow-up procedure.
The confidence interval does not contain zero. Therefore, the difference of these two proportions is statistically significant. We can be 95% confident that between 2 and 38% of single divorce veterans have never seen treatment for PTSD as compared to married veterans.